Okay, Chael, we are rapidly approaching fight night in Los Angeles, not Las Vegas. We have been through so much this week, an unprecedented week in UFC history, moving the card from one location to the other. In the end, we are going to see John Jones versus Alexander Gustafson too. a highly anticipated rematch. I want to ask you, who has more pressure on his shoulders going into this fight, Jones with all the controversy, or Gus, who is trying to be the first man to defeat no, John Jones? I absolutely think that it's Gustafson, and not because he's trying to be the first man, Errol, but because his opportunities at the top are limited. John Jones, regardless of the outcome, has other big fights lined up. Brock Lesnar comes to mind. Daniel Cormier is always a good option. He's still young in his career. His body's healthy. If he can stay out of trouble, he's going to have many more great moments. But I will tell you this. John Jones, look, if this, was, if this was golf and this is Tiger Woods, we'd say tear up your tickets right now. Tiger isn't focused, he can't play. This is what John Jones is used to. John Jones is used to controversy. He used to being in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. Point being in the relevance, and in this case, it's all gonna work out for him. Everything is normal in John Jones's life. Who wins? I like John Jones in this contest. Look, he's just got more ways to fight him. I think there are ways that Alexander Gustafs can, can extend the rounds, maybe even get us a full 25 minutes, which I, as a fan, am cheering for. I love to see these guys fight. Turn it over to the judges. In this case, just fine with me. Just give us several minutes. I think there's ways that Gus can extend this bout, but I don't know that there's a way that he can win more minutes of the bout than the former champion, John Jones, who is soon to be new champion after this fight. Never in the history of women's MMA have we ever seen the number one versus number two pound for pound fighters fight. We are getting that on Saturday. It's Chris Cyborg, the featherweight champion, going up against Amanda Nunes. The bantamweight champion, Nunes, of course, going up. Who has the edge in this fight? Yeah, so I think this really comes down to size. I really respect both of these girls and their talents. I think the only real element that Cyborg has over Amanda is endurance. I think she can push a little harder in minutes 20 to 25 than Amanda can. I think that I'm splitting hairs because I don't suggest that either one has a conditioning issue, issue, but Cyborg does have a size advantage. And a lot of times size is a disadvantage. But when it comes to absorbing shots, the bigger person can always absorb the bigger shot. And I think that's going to hurt Amanda and favor Cyborg. It appears, Chill, as though we have weathered the storm. No more talk, at least for now, of picograms, metabolites, all that stuff and more. We can put that to the side for the moment. We can enjoy Saturday night, UFC 232. It's Alexander Gus going up against John Jones. A reminder, immediately following the main event, we'll be live on ESPN Plus for our post-fight show, recapping it all. You don't want to miss it. We'll see you Saturday.